Hi everybody, welcome back. This week I'm going to be showing you how to test your water by runoff through your buckets. You can use this method if you're growing through soil, whether it's store-bought or from your own land, or if you're using the method I'm using, which is cocoa coir mixed with perlite. So I can tell that my tomato is ready to be watered, but I wanna know what's already in there before I attempt to add more nutrients or to take them away. So how you do that is like this. You put your bucket in a pan. Make sure the bucket fits nicely into the pan so that it's not wobbly or anything like that. You're going to take water that has been properly pH'd using your pH pen, which you've probably got by now. This water has already been pH'd and if you're curious about how to do that, you can look at any of my other videos. I talk about it all the time. So here we go. We're not gonna flood the plant completely. We're just gonna see, we're gonna pour enough water into it to see how much will fall out of the bottom. And as you can tell in my bucket, I've got these holes in there and that's very important for drainage and so that we don't get root rot and that our, our plants roots are not sitting in water because it is possible to drown a plant whether you're no matter what medium that you're in. So having drainage holes is very important. All right, so I poured one entire jug of, ba of pH balanced water and we can already see that the runoff is starting to go into my pan. That's the beauty about growing in cocoa. It's got such great drainage properties that you don't get root rot as much and you don't get a lot of these root-based issues that you get um, if you don't incorporate uh, either drainage holes or some kind of mixture that encourages drainage. I've got plenty of runoff water here now to test. I can move this guy out. And now I'm gonna take some of the water into a, a clean mason jar. I've got enough to test here. And now let's see what kind of environment my plant has been growing in. So we can see that the, the PPM content has gone up. So we're about 1600 PPMs. And then my pH pen, we're sitting at 6.16. So that's great news actually. That's, that's within that ideal range of 5.5 to 6.5. So that's how you test runoff when you're growing in any kind of medium, if you're growing outside in soil or in cocoa mixture. Thank you for watching. If you like the content and you're interested in seeing more, please like and subscribe.